Well, thank you very much for that introduction and uh, special words. Um, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the Board of Trustees, faculty members, and fellow graduates, it is truly an honor to stand before you today and accept this honorary doctorate degree. This recognition means a great deal to me, and I'm humbled and grateful for this honor. I want to start by expressing my gratitude to the university for bestowing upon me this prestigious recognition. I also want to thank my family, my friends, and colleagues for their support and encouragement throughout my aviation career. As I stand before you today, I cannot help but reflect on the incredible journey that has led me to this moment. My introduction to flying was made by my parents, who were both licensed private pilots during the 70s. My mother was actually the one who took me for my first flight in a Cessna 152. I was absolutely hooked on flying after that, and I knew I wanted to make it my career. During, their t during that time, there were very few women pilots, especially commercial and airline transport rated pilots in the industry. My mother worked hard on earning her private pilot's license. Uh, she had many challenges, but she didn't give up and she succeeded. She was very much a role model for me and gave me much encouragement during my pursuit of my licenses and ratings over the years. Along with pilot training, uh, my Lewis education and experience played a large role in setting me on a successful career path. Lewis's values-centered curriculum and emphasis on community service and teaching and mentoring was a foundation for a good work ethic and developing leadership ability required in my field. After many years of building flight time and gaining experience through various jobs, I landed my dream job as an airline transport pilot and went to work for FedEx Express uh, in 1989. Over the years there, I had the privilege of flying various commercial jets in their fleet and working up to captain, a uh, captain position, a line check airman, training pilots, and chief pilot positions in flight management and operations. Over the years, I've had the privilege of serving the company through both domestic and international assignments. I've been fortunate enough to travel the world. I've experienced various varying uh, religions, cultures, and cuisines that I could have never experienced through a textbook or another profession. One of the most challenging yet memorable experiences in my career was the three years that I spent working in the Asia Pacific region while living in Hong Kong and serving FedEx during turbulent political times and then the pandemic. It was an incredibly demanding time, but I am proud to say that I was part of a team that worked tirelessly to ensure that the company served and protected their people, their employees and customers, and continued to thrive despite the taxing circumstances. As I reflect on my career, I am grateful for the many lessons that I've learned along the way. I learned the importance of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. I learned that success is not just about individual achievement, but about working as a team to achieve a common goal. I'm very excited about the future of our Lewis 2003 graduates. I'm very proud of your achievements today. The nursing and health science graduates carry on the Lewis tradition and will join a highly respected and caring professionals whose work is dedicated to saving lives. You have my utmost respect and you are truly the heroes. The aviation science and technology graduates will appreciate a very robust job market and have many opportunities in the industry never 
before seen. I'm very pleased that, uh, to see that you will be part of a pivotal change in the industry, especially the change in pilot and mechanic hiring, where finally diversity is encouraged, embraced, and celebrated, and there is equality for everyone. In conclusion, I want to thank the university again for this great honor. It is a recognition that I will always cherish. And to the graduates here today, I want to leave you with one final thought. Whatever your chosen profession may be, always remember the value of service. Use your skills and your talents to make a positive impact in the world, and you will find the rewards are immeasurable. Thank you very much.